Well, hello friends. Welcome back to the channel again. Good evening. So friends, in this session, we'll be discussing about another important topic of cloud computing technology that is cloud security. So friends, I assume that you guys are aware about the security of data. So what all the precautions and firewalls has to be taken under if you want to maintain a data security, which is found to be extremely confidential. It might be a personal or a professional or an organization. Okay, so in this video, friends, let us discuss about a brief introduction about cloud security. What is cloud security? What are the important parameters that they undergo in order to provide the security for the data that we store inside the cloud? Okay, so friends, before we directly uh, moving to the video, if you're new to this video, friends, make sure you subscribe the channel, channel and hit the bell button icon so that you'll be never missing any updates. Okay, so that's usually starting with the definition. What is this cloud security? Friends, the security itself signifies that it's a process of providing security and restricting the unauthorized access to particular data that which is private or professional, whatever it may be. So friends, starting with the definition of cloud security, the cloud computing security or more simply cloud security refers to a broad set of policies or technologies on applications and controls utilized to protect the virtualized IP address or data application services and associated infrastructure cloud computing. See friends, now here speaking about security, security means it's not, uh, not, all, about, not all about giving security only to the data which might be structured or unstructured. It's all about giving security to the data application service. That means what all the, what are all the stuff that you have stored inside the cloud? It provides security. Okay, friends, so you guys must be wondering that what is the difference between this local server and cloud security? The security provided to the local server servers and the security provided to the cloud vendors. See, friends, obviously the functionality is found to be not that quite similar to that of local security, but in order to difference between the cloud security and the local security, cloud security make use of much complex secret method methodology such as to that of local storages. See friends, speaking about the restrictions on unauthorized access, which is completely forbidden. So cloud security has capable of catching the particular unauthorized access faster than to that of local and immediately block it. So it might be possibilities if one tried to execute just in case if the particular data matches that is completely into the server, there's possibilities of data showing as much as he wanted to see, not all the in-depth information. Okay. And the measures ensures authentications of users and devices, access control for data and resource and protection of data privacy. As I said before, the user's device and access control is a plays a prominent role in cloud security. So in cloud security is all about focusing about the user accessibility and restricted access and every single thing and threats. Okay, cloud security is all about focusing about unwanted threats, unauthorized access and major liberties. So friends, speaking about cloud computing orbit, it's also meant to be known as four pillars of cloud security. See, friends. See, speaking about the architecture of cloud security, so there is a kind of a step-by-step -step procedure. Uh, it's not exactly a step-by-step -step procedure, but also called as a four pillars of security, which plays a prominent role in providing the security of the data that we have stored inside the cloud. It's number one, data security. So, friend, speaking about the data security that is provided inside the cloud security. See friends, data security is an aspect of cloud security that involves the technical end of things prevention. Okay, I mean threat prevention. Okay, tools and technologies allows providers and client to make a barrier between the access and the visibility of sensitivity data. See, speaking about data security, it is not just enough to detect the unwanted threats. Uh, we have the firewalls to do that particular responsibilities 
okay right see it's all about providing a strong barrier which is found to be unbreakable between the user and the particular server who is exactly found to be an authorized access so that is that's the prominent role in cloud computing security okay and also important things encryption scrambles your data so that only readable by someone who has the encrypted key so this is the one of the most prominent in data security friends i'll repeat once again encryption scrambles your data so that only readable by someone who has the encryption key suppose when there is a file okay which might be hand uh, which might be type data okay so only you are as you are allowed to see so there might be possibilities that you, you can uh, make your data encrypted and can be decrypted by make, making use of specific encryption key so cloud security allows you to make use of that particular encryption key by encrypting your data so that only you can read the particular data that is stored inside that okay so next identity and access management okay different speaking about this identity and access management it's all about signifies the restrictions of authorized access and providing only an authorized access okay see pertains to the accessibility privileges offered to that of user accounts okay as i said before friends managing authentications and authorizations of user accounts also apply here okay so that is one of the most prominent role in the cloud security architecture okay so access controls are critical to restrict users both legitimate and malicious from entering and compromising the sensitive data and the systems password management multi factor authentications and other method fall under the scope of identity and access management i'll repeat one second friends okay from entering the compromising sensitive data password management and multi factor authentications and other methods fall under the scope of access management this is an ex- this is the application which makes the cloud security want to be greater than that of local security exactly so friends speaking about next visibility and compliance okay so speaking about visibility compliance friends see friends it, all, it focuses on resolving around the protecting user privacy as well as legislative bodies okay government has taken up the much more importance of protecting private users information from being exploited for profit okay see friends uh, there might be a scenario occurs okay so when a when an unwanted person or unwanted threat occurs to organization so we will be having that level of security in that what happens uh, possibilities of the visibility of that particular threat will be found to be greater than compared to that of local okay so last next please friends network security in other words restricting unauthorized access okay okay speaking about this restricting unauthorized access okay what is this exactly take place see friends it involves in a technical disaster recovery measures in case of data loss okay so network speaking about the network security it's uh, and most important thing here friends uh, when this there might be a possibility occurs of network traffic so i i assume guys you guys completely heard about that so in in that meantime there might be possibilities of threat have the maximum number of possibilities to entering into the security when the traffic is extremely exploited so there will be possibilities of exactly the cloud service might be little slow in filtering the particular traffic flow which one is threat which one is not threat so there may possibilities but this cloud computing has a power of i um, mean checking every single traffic flow that is entering into the cloud security okay so friends these are the four pillars of cloud security which makes the cloud security one of the best security compared to that of data stored in the local servers okay so friends the session ends here before directly quitting to the video if you have any doubts regarding the cloud security i request you kindly please pin down your doubts in the comment section i'll definitely reply back okay and If you like this video make sure you like share subscribe and keep sharing so thank you for watching friends have a nice day